What's going on there today, YouTube and Fitness World? Once again, it's your boy Chris Levine, and today we will be doing a video on handstand push up progression. So, I'm gonna make this more than one part because there's a lot of different exercises that I wanna go over, and we're gonna start with the basic exercises and then we'll work our way up to a little bit more difficult exercises. And it's been a little while since we did some handstand, any type of handstand like workouts or progression, so I'm excited about it. You know, I try to switch it up by doing different uh, levels of fitness, like the last one we did lunges, kind of work on lower body, and all these exercises are exercises that you can do while you're quarantined here during the whole coronavirus um, output. So, and first of all, let me say, I hope all of you are safe out there. Please continue to do what you gotta do in order to make sure you and your family are safe. And secondly, thank you guys so much for supporting my videos. You guys have been absolutely amazing. So, hey, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and subscribe to your boy. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs up, share, all that good stuff. But um, one thing I wanna start doing is I wanna start supporting, like I wanna support veterans, but I also wanna support people that, are, that I surround myself with in my circle. So right now I'm supporting uh, Gianna Stokes. She is an amazing person. She has a great physique. She has been working her ass off in order to get to that point. She's an online personal trainer. She's a personal trainer. Um, and she's a great example. You can just look at her and tell that she's very fit and she's very knowledgeable about what she's talking about. So I'll leave a link to all her social media and her website down in the description below. And I also want to show you guys this uh, Rising Lab shirt that I, you know, I finally unboxed it today. I wanted to save it for a special occasion. Today's a special occasion because I'm back on my brand with YouTube. So this Rising Lab shirt, I wanted to make sure I went out there and supported her because she has always supported me. Anytime I need help with anything, she has always gone out of her way. So please go ahead and support Gianna Stokes. Like I said, I'll put all of her information in the description below and uh, you will definitely not regret it. Quality t-shirt. I love the design. You can tell a lot of work has been put into it. And um, hey, maybe she might have a, a certain discount code for you, you know? Get, go ahead and get a contact with her. But um, great product, great person, and I'm definitely blessed to be able to say I can do my best to help promote her as well. So hey, Gianna, if you're listening and watching this video, I appreciate you and everything that you do. Uh, without further ado, we're gonna go on to part one of handstand progressions. Let's get it. Everybody, we're back. So, like I said in the intro, for the part one of progressions to handstand push-ups, we're going to be doing different variations of pike push-ups. Now, you can look at all different various channels throughout YouTube, and you'll see like one of the main exercises that people talk about are pike push-ups. But I want to show you a little different of a variety uh, on at least one of the exercises that I like to do for pike push-ups that I know is going to help you out. So. Here we go. For the first one, it's gonna be a modified assisted pike push-up. Okay, so for this particular exercise, as you see, I like to put the pad right here. All right, so I put a pad on top of the box and we're gonna have our, our legs on this box, our knees on the box, as our lower legs. And then uh, we'll do a modified pike push-up. So it's gonna look like this. All right, so you put your hands about shoulder width apart. And just like this, and relatively close to the box, your legs will stay on, right? But you lift your legs up and curl your legs in. So as you go down, same thing as a regular pike push-up, you're gonna go down at an angle as much as you can. While you're doing this exercise, like I said, curl those legs up. And even though it looks relatively easy, you're gonna see 
uh, how much more difficult it is when you actually start to do the exercise. So once again, with every type of thing where you're doing like a pike push-up or anything that like kind of like loads your shoulders like that, make sure you warm up your shoulders really well. Make sure you warm up your wrists really well. Make sure you don't pull anything or uh, to help prevent from any kind of injuries. Okay, so for your next variation of pike push-ups for your handstand push-up progression, we're gonna actually do pike push-ups, but this time our feet are gonna be completely straight and we're gonna be on the ground this time. We're not gonna be utilizing a box for this one. So for this one, uh, I, I like this exercise. It puts a lot of load on your shoulders, uh, but it, it also uh, requires a good amount of hamstring flexibility as well, because as you're coming back up, if you don't have good hamstring, uh, hamstring flexibility, you're gonna feel a lot of pull, and it's gonna be hard for you to actually lock your legs out. So you wanna have your legs as straight as possible uh, with your knees not so bent. You don't wanna bend your knees, so have those legs straight, and like I said, you're gonna feel that stretch in your hamstring if you have tight hamstrings. So it's gonna definitely help to have flexibility, but we're gonna make it work. Next uh, variation we're gonna do is pike push-ups on the ground. Let's get it. So like I said, you're gonna make sure your hands are straight, or excuse me, your, uh, your hands are about shorter width apart. You're gonna make sure your legs are straight as possible, and you're gonna be on your toes. You're gonna be going down at an angle Right? You want to make sure your elbows go backwards and not out to the side as well. And when you're coming back up, do not take the load off of your upper body by putting everything on your lower body. You shouldn't completely release pressure from your shoulders while you're doing the actual exercise. So we'll do a few of them. Walk your feet up like I like to do. Elbows back. So if you notice when I was doing the pike push up on the ground, I was keeping my legs straight. I was making my, sure my elbows went back and not flared out to the side, which is like an easy way to get injured. So you wanna make sure that your elbows are going back. But not only that, uh, some common mistakes I see is when people go down to do the pike push up, their head only goes between their hands. They're not really stretching out. So. The more you put your, your head towards your hands, it, it makes the exercise easier and you're gonna get the full uh, pressure and the full stretch of the actual exercise. So make sure you do it exactly how I was saying it. Obviously, if you can't do it at that point, you wanna build up to it. If you gotta bend your knees a little bit because you can't, you don't have that flexibility yet, hey, you, got, you know what I'm saying? You gotta start somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Hey, go ahead and do that. But you know, we wanna constantly be trying to progress the, uh, the different variations. So. The second variation is gonna be just a regular pike push-up uh, on the ground. For this next progression, we're gonna do elevated pike push-ups. All right, as you can see the wooden box right here, we're gonna put our feet elevated on the, on the wooden box. But the difference between this one and the first progression that we did, was our legs are gonna be completely straight. We're not gonna be um, putting just our knees with our legs curled. Our legs will be straight. And essentially, we're gonna do the same thing we did on the ground but we're gonna do it on an elevated, with our legs on an elevated surface. So the third variation is gonna be elevated pike push-ups. Like I said before, <laughs> all right, so like I said before, elevated pike push-ups, your legs will come up here, keep your legs as straight as possible, make sure your elbows are still coming back, and just understand that because you're on an elevated surface, there's gonna be a little bit more pressure put on your wrist and also um, on your shoulders. So once again, once again, safety, 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 Make sure you warm up properly. If you're feeling a little sore, maybe take the time to kind of shake it off. And if you feel like you're putting yourself in danger of an injury, come back to this exercise later. Uh, but I, I'm very confident that if you warm up properly, that this exercise is definitely going to benefit you. So here we go, elevated pike push-ups. All right, so legs up. Completely straight this time. We're not doing this. Completely straight. Walk your hands back to where you're comfortable. And then remember, Elbows are coming back, your head's going forward. <laughs> if you 
if you saw toward the end, um, you know, I, I started to struggle a little bit because this is a very strenuous exercise and I've been uh, actually doing other exercises prior to this. But I just want to show you all that this exercise can definitely be very strenuous and it puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders and your wrists. Um, and to wear you out. Going from the ground to the elevated pike push-up, to me makes a pretty good difference, especially if you're doing it correctly and using proper form. So, like I said, we went from the knees on the box, right, to pike push-up on the ground, to doing the elevated pike push-up. And those are all progressions to get to the handstand push-up. So, I am very confident if you utilize those exercises that I just showed you, you're gonna notice that your strength is gonna definitely uh, pick up, not only just shoulder strength, but strength for the actual toward the handstand push-up that is transferable. Next thing you know, we'll be doing it, handstand push-ups on the wall, and so on and so forth, and moving up in the progression. So don't be so frustrated and rushed. This is definitely a hard technique. I actually stopped training the handstand push-up for a while, and I, I lost a lot of the strength and the skill of that. So to build it back up. It took me a while to get to that point. So don't feel like, oh, I'm not getting to where I want to be at or forever to learn or forever to get strong. Like it's definitely a skill that takes a lot of people a long time to get. But I'm very confident if you utilize the fundamentals and, and you work to try to master these pike push-ups, I know that you're going to be able to get to it before you even know it. So I appreciate all your support on this video. Stay tuned for part two and part three. If you haven't already done so, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. What's going to kill you? It's free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hit that thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, go ahead and hit that bell too. Go ahead and crack that bell. Let me know what's up. Now, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We'll see you on part two. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have any questions on the pike push-ups that we went over for part one. And, and part two, hey, we're going to turn it up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Have a good day. Peace.